I was asked uh, to, uh, to give uh, researchers perspective to this open ac uh, access publishing here, but uh, uh, to be honest, I actually uh, cannot do that nowadays, and the reason being that uh, I have started uh, from the beginning of this year as a um, chairman of the Research Council of Health at the Academy of Finland. So it means that uh, I, what I can give is the, what is the uh, view of the Academy of Finland uh, for open access publishing. And uh, luckily that's quite much my own personal view, but uh, if you want to hear my uh, like the deepest personal views, then that probably should take place over a pint of beer or in kind of different uh, 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 occasion than this. So I will be giving uh, the view of the Academy of, of Finland uh, to this open access uh, publishing. So, um, Academy uh, supports the uh, highest level of science in Finland, and uh, it uh, there's a, a principle of uh, responsible research, and one of aspects in this uh, responsible research is that uh, 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 the uh, researchers should use uh, open access in publishing and then the, uh, the data should be publicly uh, available. And from the researcher's perspective, I guess that makes a lot of sense because we do research that we want to change the world and we want to tell everybody that we have what we have done so that there should not be any problem in, in this uh, kind of in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the idea of uh, open uh, publishing. And I just briefly mentioned already that what are the actual problems in that setting. But clearly, uh, Academy of Finland favors and actually demands open access publishing. And one of these fin uh, Academy of Finland science policy objectives, one of the key aspects is, the, uh, is uh, to promote open science. And that obviously makes a lot of sense. I, I guess that's, that's clear and understandable to everybody. So uh, what that means in, in practice, um, that if Academy uh, provides funding, then uh, uh, those publications which are produced using the Academy money uh, should be made openly available. There is this, you notice that there is where possible. So it's not that you really must do that if you have got academy funding, but it says that if that's possible. And uh, this text uh, is in the process of being renewed and also in, in the next version, uh, or at least what, is, what has been or is proposed will be that it's again that if that's possible, that if it's not possible, then, then uh, you, you can kind of get around of, the, uh, of this. Um, and also that, uh, as mentioned already, that uh, this should be, that the, that the uh, publications should be available uh, free of charge, both for scientists and for general uh, public. Um, yes. Um, then already uh, mentions that um, uh, that uh, there is the screen and gold and hybrid models of open uh, accessing uh, and the green meaning that there is this uh, that they can be this embargo time and how academy sees it they can be up to this embargo can be up to six months that that will be uh, acceptable and then in humanities and social sciences that can be up to 12 months that's that's how how Academy uh, 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 has uh, determined the limits. Then the gold, meaning that it's imme immediately available. And uh, that's uh, like, the, I guess the reason why I was asked to give the researchers perspective that uh, I, for more than one reason, I quite much favor using some of these uh, um, uh, journals with the gold 
open access, uh, namely from my perspective, there has been the, uh, this uh, public library of science plus journals and one reason being that uh, PLOS Pathogen is one of the best journals in, in my respective uh, field and also PLOS Genetics is extremely good, good in, that, in that sense. So regardless whether they were open or not, that, that those would be a really good alternatives to publish, uh, publish some of my, uh, my work or my, the, the work what my uh, group and my researchers ha have done. <coughs> then uh, uh, academies. Uh, policy has been that it does not encourage publishing in the uh, hybrid uh, mode and the reason being that as mentioned that it's kind of that uh, these uh, publishers want to get as much money as possible this I guess it's kind of like one what one would expect that many of us would like to do so that uh, the, that's the reason why why it's it has not been favored by the Academy of Finland, so that the Academy uh, would hope to, uh, that uh, the researchers would publish either in this called open access journal, uh, journals or then using this green open access and uh, embargo time being uh, uh, not more than six months. Also when applying uh, money uh, grants from the Academy of Finland, one needs to tell, to describe that how uh, the results are being published and uh, I guess then the one who's writing the academy application then uh, it would, I would encourage to use these terms that uh, to use in this open, uh, uh, sorry the gold open access journals or then green, uh, green open access and to avoid uh, and not and avoiding this hybrid uh, journals and in case the text changes in in the academy pages then uh, to change it accordingly. Yes, then uh, in pra uh, practical terms, uh, like I said, that uh, as a researcher I want to uh, publish uh, my results to as wide audience as possible. Uh, there's of course that, we, uh, that there are other aspects to consider which are not totally uh, exclusive to that excluding uh, each other. So usually the higher the impact factor of the journal, uh, the more the, uh, this work is cited and the more widely it's uh, recognized. So uh, again as an example in my own uh, field studying this uh, uh, host microbe interactions, uh, the leading journals in that field are this uh, earlier mentioned uh, PLOS pathogen, which is this called open access and uh, then uh, the best one is cell host and microbe and uh, then uh, the question is that which one would be the preferable journal to publish and uh, like there are like these uh, different levels of the hierarchy, uh, how you make the decisions and uh, from my perspective the most important part like remembering that I rep represent the Academy of Finland, I represent my university but still uh, the, the most important thing is that I want to uh, uh, enhance the career of my students. So that uh, would be the first thing how I think about it, that uh, what would be the most, ben uh, most beneficial for my research team and my students. So that would be the uh, highest priority. And that also explains that why academy, I think why it explains that why there's that this, if possible, use the open access uh, publishing. And then we have here in Finland this publication forum level, which is of course I'm not certain how important that is uh, for the, like the research and research teams, but it's uh, important for the universities. So from the university's perspective, it's important that the scientists would, uh, would choose the they, uh, forum for publication uh, based on this publication forum, uh, forum level, so UPO uh, Luokitus, uh, which uh, can be checked from the, uh, from the web that where this journal belongs. And I think uh, one really important thing to, uh, to all scientists to remem remember are these pre uh, predator journals. And I think there's going to be a presentation about those later today, so I'm not going to go deeply into that issue. But uh, it's kind of, uh, I guess that's more or less summarized the, uh, the idea of these predator <laughs> journals and also the hybrid, uh, hybrid format in this open access uh, publishing.